Hello students, today I will explain you the first chapter of chemistry, Introduction to Chemistry. Chemistry is very important in our day-to-day -day life. It is fair to say that chemistry is concerned with everything we see and find around ourselves, be it the book we are reading, the clothes we are wearing, the air we are breathing, the water we are drinking and so on. Science is divided into three branches, physics, chemistry and biology. Chemistry is further subdivided into organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry. The historical development of chemistry. The roots of chemistry lie within the body of doctrines and practices known as the sacred art, the occult science or the art of Hermes during the 4th and 5th centuries AD. The joint body of these practices was later on called as alchemy. The term alchemy included practicing physics, medicine, astrology and spirituality along with chemistry of metals using the philosopher's stone. The philosopher's stone was a substance which was considered more pure than gold. The philosopher's stone, when heated and combined with a base or a non-precious metal such as copper and iron, would turn into a material that was considered to be the highest and purest form of matter. A person practicing alchemy was known as the alchemists. Some of the alchemists were serious-minded practitioners while some of them were crafty people who were driven by the lure of wealth and eternal youth. They combined experimentation with astrology and incantation in order to discover something which could lead to immortality and precious metals. The alchemists could not succeed in their endeavors However, through their efforts, they were able to discover the behavior of matter and develop different processes to extract metals. Some notable chemists. This is Madame Marie Curie. She was a Polish chemist who actively worked in the field of radioactivity. She discovered radium, a radioactive element, for which she received the Chemistry Nobel Prize in the year 1911. Dmitry Mendeleev, he was a Russian chemist and is known as the father of periodic table. He laid the foundation of modern periodic table. He arranged the 60 elements that were discovered by then in rows and columns in a grid pattern. He introduced the metric system in Russia his scientific research was totally in sync with the economic development of Russia. John Dalton John Dalton and his elder brother were red-green colorblind. Therefore, John Dalton worked intensely on colorblindness. He was the first scientist to publish paper on colorblindness. John Dalton postulated Dalton's law of partial pressures. He postulated the law of multiple proportions which became the basis of his atomic theory. His most important contribution to modern chemistry is the atomic theory which states that all matter is made up of atoms and that atoms are indivisible and indestructible. Anthony Laurent Lavoisier He is known as the father of modern chemistry. He established the law of conservation of mass. He established that combustion and respiration are chemical reactions. He named the gases oxygen and hydrogen. He set up new laboratory analytical methods to bring order to the existing chaotic Greek philosophy and medieval alchemy. Joseph Priestley discovered oxygen. Henry Cavendish discovered hydrogen, J.J. Thomson discovered electron, Daniel Rutherford discovered nitrogen, Ernest Rutherford discovered proton, 
James Chadwick discovered neutron. William Ramsey discovered helium, which is a noble gas. Now we come to applications of chemistry. The contribution of chemistry in our lives is enormous. Chemistry is a part of daily life in some way or the other. Some of the applications of chemistry are mentioned here. First is food. The food we eat is a complex mixture of chemicals. All the major food components are composed of complex chemicals. Beside these, chemistry plays a vital role in food processing and food preservation. Some chemicals such as sodium benzoate, salicylic acid, sodium chloride and food preservatives prevent the spoilage of food for a substantial period of time. Agriculture the developments in the field of chemistry have brought about a revolution in agriculture and food production. Chemistry has provided farmers with high quality fertilizers, pesticides, insecticides, etc. that have helped them immensely in growing good quality crops with high yield. Clothing. The clothes that we wear have a lot to do with chemistry. The cotton balls obtained from the fields they are not used as such for manufacturing clothes. These cotton balls are processed in industries which involve the use of a number of chemicals. Again, these chemicals are a gift of chemistry. Cosmetics. A large number of cosmetic items of daily use are all products of chemistry. Medicines. Medicines are consumed for the treatment of various diseases. Extensive researches in the field of chemistry have led to the discovery and manufacturing of a number of medicinal drugs. Drugs such as aspirin and paracetamol are commonly used by millions of people. The chemical milk of magnesia is an excellent antacid. Further, chemicals like detergents and disinfectants are used to keep the surroundings clean and maintain good sanitary conditions which prevents the spread of diseases like malaria and cholera. Industries Chemistry plays a vital role in the growth of different industries. Industries are set up to manufacture products such as soaps, paints, dyes, drugs, plastics and construction material.